Hello and welcome to this Photoshop CS5 for Photographer Basics video tutorials. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris and I've been a, a professional photographer for five or six years now. I do speak English and I've lived in the United States, so you should be able to understand my English despite a little French accent. Um, what we're going to cover today is basically 60 to 70 percent of my entire workflow for the last five, six years using Bridge. Camera Raw and Photoshop to retouch photos and to get the most juice out of your photos. Uh, in the app, you will find a link where you will be able to download uh, most of the raw files we're going to be using so you can train on the same files that you see in the videos. So this is only if you bought the app and you will get in the info tab a special link for that. Let me show you a little bit what we're going to be doing through these videos. For example, we're going to take this raw file and um, retouch it in Camera Raw to get this result. Uh, what a change. Then we're going to take this photo of the Arc de Triomphe, a famous monument in Paris, and we're going to correct all the perspective problems that we have to get this photo. Then we take this photo of this blown out sky with just a simple tree and try to recover as much as we can using Camera Raw and all the local tools that goes with it to get this result. Then we're going to toggle a photo, a very noisy photo, and we're going to correct it in Camera Raw and I'm going to show you how to take out all this noise within Camera Raw. This is not, uh, this photo still has the noise on it and we'll take everything out plus do a full retouching of the photo. Then we're also going to tackle how to retouch JPEG files because some of you don't take raw photos and you only take JPEGs. So this is a JPEG before and this is a JPEG after. Then we're going to go into a bit more advanced Photoshop concept to really understand uh, the basic tools like masking and uh, blending modes and things like this. For example, uh, we take this texture and this portrait and turn it into this. Another example, we take this portrait, the same texture that we had before, and we turn it into this project. Here is another example of Photoshop use. Uh, this is a photo of Paris with a blown out sky. Uh, I like the composition, but I was really sorry that the sky was not good that evening where I took the photo. So I found this sky, at a, I took this time at another time of the day and blended both together to get this result. Uh, we're also going to talk about, um, you know, this geometry perspective problems that you have when your lens is tilted up, you know, is uh, towards the sky where you have all the buildings going this way. We're going to first correct it to get it straight, to get all the building straight, just using camera raw options. And then we're going to do what we call a double row development to get uh, the sky a little bit better in, you know, the texture of the sky. Uh, let's then tackle some black and white techniques. I'll show you a couple of black and white techniques. For example, to convert this photo into this black and white photo, just using Photoshop tools. Uh, and to finish off, we're going to go into panoramics. This is a series of eight photos taken in Paris. It's a little sunset in a suburb of Paris. And we're gonna use uh, first camera row to correct each photos and then merge them together into this one big giant panoramic. So we've got a lot to cover and I invite you to get started. Thank you for buying the app and see you in the next video.